take two. Hey there, Polycasters, Rob here. Welcome back to Ask Polymer, the show where you send in your hashtagged questions and we do our best to answer them on air. So today we're gonna lead off with a question that a lot of people have asked, which is how do you get your hand to show up in the screencast that you record? So it's a really great question. We've actually got a pretty elaborate rig that we've built that allows us to do this. We've got a camera mounted above a Wacom Cintiq tablet. And then we use a free program called OmniDazzle that lets us draw on the screen. We do all of our screencasting in Camtasia, and we take all of that and we throw it in, into a big keynote deck. We just walk through that and record the whole thing, mash it together in post. So it's a, it's a pretty cool setup uh, and it allows us to do that really awesome effect. All right, our next question comes from Jay who asks, does Polymer play nice with TypeScript and are there official type definitions for Polymer? So great question, Jay. Uh, there are not official definitions that have been created by the Polymer team. However, the definitely typed repo on GitHub does have Polymer definitions, which you can use to get up and running with TypeScript and Polymer in your project. I've used them a little bit in a, a kind of an Angular 2 experiment that I did. So you can use those. They're, they're, they're not fully featured, if you will, but they will get you started rolling with TypeScript and Polymer. So thank you, Jay, for sending in that question. All right, our next question comes from Thomas, who asks, how do I go about including a third-party library in my Polymer elements? So good question there, Thomas. Uh, what I would recommend is creating an HTML import that contains the script tag for that third-party library, and then your elements can depend on that import. So you can see an example of this right over here from this uh, chart.js element set that I created. There's an import for chart.js. Everybody else depends on that. So hopefully in the future, authors just vend those imports for us. But today, that's the workaround that we recommend. And, and I should add, the reason we do that is so you can have multiple elements depending on that thing, and HTML imports will just deduplicate it for you. So great question, uh, Thomas. Thank you for sending that in. All right, our next question comes from Wheatley, who asks, uh, what would be the suggested way to do routing in a Polymer application? Excellent question, Wheatley. Uh, what I would recommend is you go check out a previous episode on using page.js. That is actually how I've been doing it in my applications. Uh, we also did an episode on a, an element called more routing, but it's a little not so well maintained these days, so I'd recommend sticking with page.js. Also, if you're interested, you can check out over here, this uh, thing that we've been working on on GitHub called Web Component Shards. So that actually allows you to take your, your element bundles and break them up into pieces and maybe lazy load them. This is still very experimental, but uh, this might be our long-term solution to allowing you to lazy load stuff with your router. So uh, thank you so much, Wheatley, for sending in that awesome, awesome question. All right, our last question comes from Paul, who asks, are there plans to add paper elements for date and time pickers? Great question, Paul. Uh, we want to make sure that before we go and create new elements, that we've got our current paper elements as buttoned up as possible. So that means, you know, fixing bugs on them, making sure that they're really polished, that the APIs do everything everybody wants. So there's no near-term plans to add those extra elements because we want to focus on the set that we currently have. However, having said that, there are community members who have created their own implementations of both of these. So you can check out a date picker here and a time picker over here. Those are also available on customelements.io, so you can browse through uh, some of the elements on that site. So yeah, maybe go try those out and they might meet your needs. Uh, thank you so much for that really awesome question, Paul. So that's it for today. Thanks to everyone who sent in questions. If you out there have questions you want us to answer, you can ping us on a social network of your choosing at hashtag AskPolymer. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm KPAX. Huh? That's a wrap.